All right, hey Libra. So we're doing a ghosted or separation read. Um, kind of, it's, it, the energies have been here and there. So, you guys, you're gonna know this is your read throughout the whole thing. Um, I'll be doing the air signs today and tomorrow. On Thursday, I will be doing the. Uh, I, I'm doing the air and fire today. Tomorrow is earth and water, um, which is the 27th to 28th December. Um, it's a 30 day intention. All right, so Libra. If you guys are new, welcome. I hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. And over on Facebook, I've been doing intuition tests as of the last couple of days for free readings. My live readings are over there. So um, oracle readings, all that good stuff. So if you guys find the energy over here that you like it, um, check me out over on Facebook if you have Facebook. All right. So we're going to look at your energy towards the connection, towards the situation, towards that person first. See how you're holding up, Libra. All right, we got the 10 of, uh, you guys might, oh, you might be in this energy, like, do I want it back? It is, I don't even know if you're questioning if it's coming back, you know what I mean? Um, as far as your feelings towards them, towards the situation, towards the person, um, it could be that it's like your faith in humanity has not been restored yet because this uh, new beginning has not happened yet, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering if you even care for it to happen, depending on what has transpired. Um, again, we're, we're looking at a ghosted or a separation read. Um, I'll figure this out more as we go along. Um, this right here though is, is lies, cheating, manipulation. You get what you want, you leave, um, you know, and the 10 of wands, you know, um, I can't help but feel like, and I'm getting chills as I say this, but it almost feels like somebody was very, very pushy with the energy that that they had towards you. Not in a bad way, but it's almost like you're sitting here wondering, why did they push so hard for this, for it to end and me have these feelings, emotions, and this, this energy about them now? Um, even the Nine of Wands is showing up right here. Uh, you know what I mean? And I can't help but feel like red, 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 we're seeing red. We're seeing red everywhere. We're seeing red, no. Um, so I'm going to shuffle and we're going to see what their energy towards the situation is. What is their energy towards the situation? I just feel like you kind of got burned. Like you got robbed of something. Um, you're not crying. I feel like you're more annoyed, upset, maybe even disgusted for some of you. Um, let's just see. What is, what is their energy towards the situation? How do they feel about this connection? How do they feel about the situation as it sits? For Libra. All right. Oh, karma. Karma. Karma, karma, karma. Look at that. You know, I see these memes sometimes, and it's like, uh, there's this one that I feel really good about, and it's like, you know, God... God does count every single tear that, that uh, falls from your face when somebody has wronged you. And you can bet um, they're going to be feeling something, right? Um, I hate to say it like that, but I feel like there is some truth in it. The, the Seven of Wands just says that they have not stopped thinking about this, the connection, what they've done to you, how they've treated you, their actions or their inaction. Um, clearly taking advantage of a wish fulfillment, clearly taking advantage of somebody right here, which is going to be you. The nine of coins in reverse. Um, it, it says that you've taken advantage of something that I put in your place. You know, we even got justice coming through. And when I see this card in reverse, I do feel like it's the negative effects of karma. Um, I feel like it's already here. Okay. And I'm not even a person that, that believes like, oh, you know, karma is going to bite you. We, if you believe in it, great, fine. That's, that's that's your feelings and emotions, but I can't help but feel when I see justice in reverse, that is the energy that kind of goes with that, that kind of connects with that. So whatever has happened, whatever has transpired, you can bet this person is not feeling okay about it. They're not feeling good about where they're sitting at and they cannot stop. It's like uh, everything that it's like haunting. That's what I feel. The energy that surrounds your connection to this person, the energy um, that surrounds the dissipation, it's, it's like haunting them. All right. We have the um, Knight of Swords, okay? Um, this right here, it's almost like, did I step out? To, uh, it, it's like a, making hasty decisions before, or rash decisions or hasty, being hasty, not even thinking, you know? Oh, I did something and I think I should have, I think I did it wrong. You know what I mean? Um, they took action on something uh, before actually thinking it through. I just hope that this isn't one of those, was the grass greener on the other side type of dynamics, right? Um, let's see how they are feeling about you in this moment right now. How are they feeling? 
they're keeping their feelings um, secretive. The moon card tells me that they're not showing, they're not sharing. Um, but here's what you should know. All right. You got your nine of cups coming through. Okay. How they feel about you. This right here is another acknowledgement that they know they treated something grand wrong. Uh, but they're not admitting that right now. They're not going to come through and admit it right away. Um, the knight of pentacles coming through like that, how it did. They know that they have wounded you. Um, that is a wounded warrior card. And I feel like they know and recognize that they have hurt you. They've hurt the connection. They've hurt the situation. And now it's like, is there is there going to be any... Is there going to be any... Um, Redemption. Is there going to be any reconciliation? Am I going to be able to fix this? The Page of Swords, you know, um, this it's like they have this recognition within self that they've been all talk, no action, bread crummy, whatever it was that has happened with you guys. They know this right here is just telling me that this person knows and they still acted. Um, they still acted. It's almost like they knew where they were going to mess up and they went ahead and did it anyway. That's what I'm feeling. So we're going to see why this person ghosted. Why is the separation here? What is going on with this? What is going on with your connection? Why the ghosting? Why the separation? Why the no contact? For Libra. What do we got? All right. So here we got palm tree coming through. And this card has to deal with stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So I am going to clarify this, but the two one, the two words that are sticking out most is stability, or the three, I guess I should say, stability, security, growth. Stability, security, growth. And then I did, I have not looked at any of the bottom of the decks, but healing heart came, you know, healing heart is coming through. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I can't help but feel, I want to keep this one out right here. Okay. Um, because I kind of feel like there there is something about there is it within this person that does need growth. Palm tree could be where they're kind of uh, um, reflecting. Okay. But it also could be acknowledging that this right here is still needing to take place or mend. Within your, with, I can't even say your connection. It's almost like this person is, they need to take action or accountability within not just for this connection but for other connections just as well it's almost like palm tree is what they thought they were showing you but healing heart is or the lack thereof is what's really popping through here for me um i'm just going to clarify this energy right here okay so we got the six of wands coming through we got the queen of cups we got the six of swords and then the uh, divine masculine energy or distorted masculine energy um, coming through at the bottom of the deck. All right. So I don't feel like this is a ghosting more than there's a recognition that somebody definitely does need to heal. All right. It's like there's. OK, so we have back and forth that I almost want to ask you guys how many times you guys have come in and out of this connection, Libra. Because I feel like there's a lot of stuck energy and I feel like there's also this recognition within you and them that somebody's just not ready for it, you know. Um, and the more in and out that we, it's like how many times do we come back, how many times are we coming in and out? How many times are we going to do this? And it's the res, the revolving door. All right. And I feel like it's because there's an acknowledgement right here that says somebody definitely needs to heal and grow before we can actually transform or transmute whatever is needing to transform or transmute, transmute in this connection. Um, you got this lady in the upright right here. Tarot doesn't recognize sex, but you got this person right here in the upright. that's all willing and ready to go forward. And then we got the, the reverse. This right here is distorted masculine energy. This is saying, I'm not ready to go. I can admit to you all day that I want this, that I want to be with you. And we come back in and out, in and out. But somebody is, it's like, they're not pulling their weight of the connection. They're not pulling their weight of what they should have, could have, um, you know, should have, could have, would have done for you and the connection. And I can't help but feel like you guys are on this repeating cycle. I, I feel like this is more of a separation that just says we're not in alignment with each other right now. So what next, you know? It could feel like it hurts a lot, but if you can acknowledge that somebody definitely is needs to level up before accessing you, um, you know, that's where I guess I would kind of be gentle with that intro energy, you know, um, it's like I've tried, tried, tried and tried to give this person and do everything for them. But now I'm starting to recognize and realize that I can't because if they're not willing to do it for themselves, then I can no longer do it for them. You know, I almost feel like you guys have done, done, done. And now it's time for you to let go, let go, let go. 
Um, and if this person's in a hard spot and they're just like, I don't have anybody else but you, but all they do is drain you, then you guys know that you got to put your foot down, but you can do it with love, you know, especially if it's just uh, them taking advantage of you. I don't feel like this is quite a toxic relationship it's more so than you can only do so much for a person before you get winded before you are like, I can't, I'm drained. I'm tired. Right. So is this connection? What, let's just see what's happening with y'all in the next 30 days. What's happening with you guys in the next, I feel like you kind of got a little warning here. All right. It's not over with, but definitely put your guard up. Okay. I, you got, a, I feel like this right here, the two of wands is a decision to come back around because it's not over with. And I feel like that is what you guys want deep in your heart. Okay. But I feel like you're being told right here to use your discernment because it's going to come back through. But is this person ready? Are you guys ready to heal and mend and move forward and healing and mending and move forward is going to be forgiving everything about your guys's past. Um, it's like, you got to start from a, a true blue, uh, clean slate in order to see this actually go anywhere. Even if that means like, no, the separation is not done with because you're still carrying some things over here, or maybe even you are too. And you're having this realization. I do got some things I got to let go of before I let this person back in. Um, let's just see under what guys they're coming back in. What, what is their intentions when they come back through? Cause I don't feel like it's over, but I feel like what needs to happen is the, re the revolving doors definitely need to stop. And I feel like Libra, you're going to be the one that has to put that foot down, right? Oh, look at that. Look, they're coming through with this King of Swords. It's like new beginnings, new beginnings. This is like fresh energy. Look at that. You guys, I'm really happy to see that. If you guys have blatantly cut this person off, and, and I don't know for whoever is here, even if I got, got one or two of you listening right now, if you guys have done the cutting off, I can't do it no more. I love you, but I'm going to have to love you at a distance. Um, that, I feel, has been tremendous. Because in that intro energy of you, how you feel about it, it's like, I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm sick of it. Um, no, you know, and you could just be popping over here and it's been like 30 days. It's been a, a couple of months. Um, but I'm going to say this. I love the energy that this person is coming back through. Is every, is that going to reach everybody? I'm going to say probably not, but use your discernment, use your intuition, use your judgment and see how this person looks, what their expression is. Um, because I feel like for the majority of you guys, you're going to be seeing this person in a brand new light that you have not seen them before. Um, and this read has just, it's given me the chills again. I, it's taken a turn that I did not expect. And I love it. I love it when that happens. So hopefully you guys can find some sort of peace with this read, especially as we move into 2024, because we don't want to take any negative ass, uh, you know, antsy energy, right? We got E-M-U um, for initials D-R-N-C. I'm leaving it right there. Libra, take care.